My name is Ashley Vincent. I'm a civil and environmental uh, engineering graduate student here at Tech. I'm from Portland, Oregon. Well, I went to undergraduate in Portland, Oregon, grew up in north of Seattle. Um, I came to Tech for the Master's International Program so that I could do, do the Peace Corps as part of my research and field work while getting my Master's in Environmental Engineering. I served in Suriname from 2000, May of 2009 until about July of 2011. Um, while I was in Suriname, I lived um, for half of the time in a really remote community where I got to learn the language, the local language, and learn about the culture and kind of come to understand their needs a little bit more in depth and, and uh, personally because I lived with them. And, um, the second year I was able to work in the capital with UNICEF um, on a research project looking at different ways of engaging communities in addressing their water and sanitation issues, um, which was a great experience for me because I got to learn a lot about working for an organization like that and just all of the pieces that go into a project like that. Um, and it just opened my eyes to the challenges that the communities face when working with an NGO and finding a technology um, and solution that will meet their needs. Uh, so when I got back to tech and I was trying to put my research together, I was just, I found myself continually drawn to finding a, a technology that would suit the environment for the community where I lived. Um, and so working with my advisor, Dr. Gerke, we, came, we decided to uh, look into making ceramic water filters from clay extracted from Suriname. Uh, ceramic water filters are a really basic technology that involve uh, just clay, so this is an example of some of the dried clay from Suriname. Uh, a flammable material, uh, which can be anything like sawdust, rice husks, uh, flour, and water. And you mix it together and put it in a kiln uh, and then dry it in the kiln and the flammable material burns out. And then this is an example of a full-sized one that then when you run water through it and it percolates through, um, they've been tested and shown to remove um, up to 100% of the harmful bacteria like uh, total coliforms and coli. So that's what I've been doing back here at Tech. It's um, doing experiments in a lab, which I wouldn't have been able to do in Suriname, which has been great to have that resource. Uh, and so far it's going well. I'm still collecting data. Uh, when I'm finished, I hope that I can send it back down to Suriname and it can be useful to NGOs and organizations working to help these communities.